Hi guys, welcome back. It's Miranda here. And if you're new, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe because there will be more awesome videos to come. And if you're not new here and you're just an old friend, welcome back, friend. Let's get right into this video. So this is going to be a get ready with me slash first impressions. Now keep in mind all the products that I will be using will not be new products. Um, the new products that I will be using, I will tell you and give you my first impressions of it. So let's hop into it. So my lips are already moisturized. Well, I put a little bit on there, but I think a little bit came off. But anyway, I just did it with the old Blistics like normal. Um, now the first new product I have is the e.l.f. Uh, face primer, the poreless, poreless one. Um, I've seen this around on YouTube uh the last couple of weeks i'm not sure if this is a new elf product i don't think it is but um i think laura lee i think this is the one she mentioned i'm not sure but i think she mentioned this one and so i was in walmart the other day i was like hmm, my pores have been acting a little ridiculous and a little cray cray lately so why not give this a try and so what i do is yeah, I bought it, and I'm going to see. First off, I know that it's, um, it's very, very smooth, very, very smooth, um, silicone-like. It reminds me of my, uh, baby skin Maybelline Pore Eraser. Yeah. So, hmm, pores are still coming through a little bit, but. They're they're blah. They aren't as big as they usually are, which is good. So on top of that, just for some extra coverage, I'm gonna use my um pore eraser, but I'm just gonna use it right in here where my pores are so outrageously large. Um, I got this last night, I think. No, two nights ago from the drugstore. It's the Dream Liquid Mousse. Um, uh, from Maybelline. If y'all don't know now, I just love Maybelline. I think they're one of the best drugstore brands that there is. So, um, I got the shade 130 Cocoa. But now, like, looking at it in the sunlight, kind of, I think it's going to be too light for me. Let's see how it looks on the brush. I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Uh, I guess it's a stif stippling brush. I'm just gonna use that instead of my um beauty blender like I normally use. So oh it's locked. One, two, three. Just three drops. Looking at it, it does look a little light, but hopefully it'll work or I can make it work. Mmm. It's like the um the same shade as the um as my fit me the same shade that I have my fit me in so it's um yeah similar to that hopefully I can make this blend out and work though um, oh definitely has a red undertone definitely has that so if you don't like that then this is not for you it's a more reddish undertone than um. Than the fit me, so this is more orange, oranges. So just applied it to half of my face, light to medium, but it can be medium to full. Okay, maybe it's medium to full coverage. The reason why I say light to medium is because. Three pumps only covered half of my face. As you can tell, this is one is with the foundation. This one is without, of course. But if you couldn't tell. Yeah. But it does. Oh, it does give you like a natural airbrush finish for real. Like. It looks so smooth and so natural. It's really amazing. So, yeah. Definitely cop this. 
but the only con is it has a really serious red undertone so if you don't like that then be aware of that or if that's a big deal to you be aware take in three more pumps to do the other side of my face okay so now for the fun part the eyes let me scoot in so you guys can see so today i'm gonna be doing a smoky eye yeah things changed mm, i don't know if you uh, hopefully you guys can't tell but i was practicing on this eye off camera i had a totally different idea in my head i know i want to do a smoky look but i wanted to do a different kind of smoky look but that didn't work out so change of plans still going to do a smoky eye so taking my fluffy wet and wild brush i'm going to go into coco bear from makeup geek and i'm going to put that as my transition shade it's okay if you get it in the crease or something because trust me it's going to get covered up so it's okay you don't have to worry about being precise or anything i'm going to go into the morphe 35 b palette y'all thought i was gonna say 35 oh no my 35 b palette y'all i have been dying to get my hands on this palette for many reasons and i'm just gonna show y'all and then i'm pretty sure y'all can just assume what those reasons were so hold on i've been struggling to get it open every time i try to open okay okay <sighs> y'all look at this palette look at this palette look at this palette so when i told y'all new things and better things were coming in 2017 boom this is proof boo just wait to see what i do with this palette in the future guys um i have swatched and tried some of these colors on my eyes so um they do kind of stain your eyes and if you're dark and lovely um if you're any color besides pale, make sure your base is white. So you can either use, um, I think it's called the NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil. I think you can use that as your base or just put a whole lot of um, translucent powder on there. Because even though the powder is translucent, it is white. Well, mine's pink, but still, it has a pink undertone, but still is white. So yeah, just put a lot of that on your eyes. So the color can be more vibrant and pop through more. So a little tip. But today, because uh, none of these colors will really go with the look that I was just had in mind. So I'm just going to go in with this black shade. As y'all know, Morphe doesn't have names to their palettes. The eyeshadows doesn't have names in their palettes. But anyway, taking this black shade, I'm just going to put that in the crease. And then going back in with my wet and wild brush, I'm just gonna blend out the those harsh edges. I'm gonna be taking a flat shader brush and my Maybelline. Make sure this is Maybelline. Yes, my Maybelline um, Color Tattoo 24 Hour. My Color Tattoo 24 24 Hour Color Tattoo Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo, and um. It's in the shade 100 Dramatic Black. And I've had had this for um, quite a while now, but I've never used it. So, it's going to be a first impressions on it. Um, so, taking my flat shader brush. Just going to dig that in there. And then we're just going to place it all over the lid. can also use this as a gel liner because it does feel like that um so yeah definitely if you want an inexpensive gel liner you can use the color tattoos and the color tattoos comes in um a variety of colors so so now i'm just gonna go back in with this shade well this brush that i used to apply that black in the morphe 35b palette just gonna blend out some harsh edges. Mm. Going it back in with all brushes, blend out harsh edges. Blending is key when doing smoky looks. 
because I want everything to go together simultaneously and not look cray cray. Okay, do it look like one is more smokier than the other to you guys? Morphe came out with some single eyeshadows, pressed eyeshadows, and I got some. They're like, um, I can't remember their price, but they're really inexpensive. Uh, I mentioned these, I think, yeah, I mentioned these in my, uh, in a previous video, in my Get Ready With Me video, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it'll be linked down below or somewhere on the screen, probably over here. It's so, yeah, these are the eyeshadows that I got from Morphe, the single eyeshadows. And they're like $2. $2 and some change, y'all. Whereas these from Makeup Geek and Carity, and they're the same size, is like $5. So, I mean... I haven't used these on the eyes, so I'm not sure how they compare for as um, showing up and stuff like that. So I'm not sure about that. But for its price, Morphe is cheaper, same size, cheaper price. I don't know about the quality. So um, taking this little silver blackish shade that I got, it's in Dark Night ES27. It looks like that. I'm going to start in the center because I don't know if I want it in the center or all over the lid. So just going to start in the center and just apply that like so. Definitely all over the lid. It just gives it like a glittery type of effect. So it's just going to be basic and boring. Taking this Voluminous Feline Mascara from L'Oreal and Black is Black. Just going to apply a coat of that. This is new as well because this is a first impressions video. Using as many new products as I have. So I put my lashes on off camera. And I use the new, well, they're not new, but new to me, Ardell Double Up Lashes. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like them. They were difficult to put on for me. Maybe it's because I'm a beginner, but they look good. But they kind of feel, they kind of feel like plastic a little bit. Like, um, uh, I, okay, so once, one time I got some lashes that came with some hair that I got off AliExpress and those la lashes felt very plastically plasticky and fake and not natural at all so these kind of what these feel like a little plastic -y type they don't feel like the kiss lashes so they kind of feel fake so I mean they are fake but I'll I'm just used to the natural feeling kind of like the kids lashes so besides that they're good dang my makeup looks good i'm gonna spray my face which y'all usually don't see me doing videos but i got some new setting spray so i'm using the dry cosmetic slay all day setting spray and this is in the scent jasmine if you didn't know these come with um these come with scents so I got the scent Jasmine. Have different scents, like five or six of them. So yeah, it says it keeps the skin matte and increases the wear time of your makeup. So it's just like regular setting spray, just with the scent. Something new and different. So I'm just gonna spray my face. And oh god, and the scent Jasmine. It kind of smells like you know that that grandma perfume. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using my Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Chocolate. Um, I'm, I'm going to start off with lining them, but I might fill it all in just use this as my lip color. But let's see.
very pigmented. It says the color is chocolate, but I was expecting a more brownish color, but I think this is like the perfect nude for us dark and lovelies. Um, do you know what? If y'all want to, y'all can keep it like this and just, um, yeah, leave it like this, but y'all know I'm gonna change this look. <laughs> this lip because it's not me it's not me and i want a very smoky sultry look from the eyes to the face to the lips so y'all know what that means so taking a makeup wipe i'm just gonna take this off because it's not me it's not what i'm going for so maybe for a different look but not for this look um that can be a little option though um if you like it like that Going in with LA Girl Matte. This is a new because I did a review on these. These was in um one of my haul videos, if I'm not mistaken. And I've used this. I used this. It was my second lip option on my New Year's Eve um makeup tutorial. I'll have it here and in the description box below. I'm just gonna use the color. Raven. I'm just gonna apply that to my lips. I guess I should get a black lip liner now because black is just, I don't know. Um, I remember these are matte lipsticks, so they can be a little hard to light on at first. But, but anyway, I'm just loving black and black, black more and more every day. Yes, this is what I'm going for. Yes, yes. So take these clips out my hair. And I'm gonna use the LA Girl Strobing Powder in 80 Watt. Okay, so no highlight. Highlight? That's basically it for this look. And y'all, I love it. My makeup looks popping. That highlight is popping. And so, yeah, that's this first, my, I think this is like my first first impressions video. Maybe not, but I think it is. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Overall, I love all of the products that I list, that I talked about. Um, if you did too, or you, you're interested in it well go out and buy them and let me know how you feel about them down in the description box below don't forget to uh subscribe like and comment and stay tuned and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video let's go into some slow mos